Welcome back everyone to another Armored Warfare replay. I am your host Bjorn and I will give you a disclaimer now. This video will probably go a bit long. There's actually quite a bit of information here about the M36 B2 Brennis. Uh, I am platooned here with Bros of Stalin. He's a semi-regular viewer and he also has an AMX 30 B2 Brennis. And then I am also platooned with uh, Nismo. Uh, 1982 who's also rocking out an m36 b2 brennis as you can see it's the invasion of the uh, french army we are playing operation sybaris on pve hardcore now we're going to start with the history with the design in 1959 uh and the vehicle weighs 36 tons we'll actually start with the amx 30 uh um which is a uh, main battle tank designed by Alter, Alter, the construction, the less, the Malin, and X. And X. I probably pronounce that quite a bit wrong. Um, it's French. What can you expect? I don't speak French. Uh, oh, by the way, this is actually a new replay on. Uh, it's actually a replay on my new PC, so new PC hype while you're watching this replay. And that's a hell of a dust storm. Uh, then later it would be built by Gant. Gant. Probably pronounced that wrong, because once again, French. And it was first delivered in 1966. The first of five tanks were issued to the 501st Regiment de Chars de Combat, meaning tank regiment, in August of that year, it was believed at the time that protection against anti-tank threats would cost too much in the way of mobility. So instead, mobility was favored over protection. Um, this is kind of also how Germany had gone at the time with the Leopard 1. Um, it was armed with a powerful 105 millimeter cannon, which had a powerful and unique heat round known as Obus G. The Obus G used an outer shell separated from the main charge by ball bearings to allow the round to spin stabilized by the gun. The gun is a rifle gun. It is powered by an HS 110 diesel engine, which produced 720 horsepower. However, the transmission proved to be troublesome. Oh. So, in 1979, due to the issues caused by the transmission, the French Army would upgrade all tanks to the AMX 30 B2 standard. No you can see here, I'm ripping some up with that chain gun. Oh. The, the AMX 30 V2 standards would include a new transmission, improved engine, and also have a new kinetic penetrator round. Production would also include a number of variants, including the AMX 30D, recovery vehicle, and the AMX 30R anti air gun system. Uh, there was even a bridge layer variant. Also, other features to point out is the two coaxial weapons, which you can see one protruding from the turret there. Um, one being a, a 7.62 millimeter machine gun and the other is a 20 millimeter automatic cannon. The automatic cannon is usable in game. And as you can see, it works very well against lightly armored vehicles. Like the weasel, the Sheridan here. Um, the MX-30 V2 is crewed by uh, is crewed by four. The X, uh, the MX-30 V2 would see service with Greece, Spain, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, Venezuela, as well as others. The AMX-30 would see action with France in the 1991 Persian Gulf War, but soon would be replaced by more modern tanks. While most countries by this point have replaced their fleet of AMX-30s, Spain and Venezuela have 
uh, been developing modernization packages to keep the AM, keep their AMX 30s in no service. No now onto the Brennus part of this whole tank. They almost hit him. Another tango down. The Brennus is an ERA kit produced and introduced in 1995 by Gantt Industries. Gantt Industries. It was a way to increase the protection for the now aging M30 AMX. 30B2, and it would add a total oh, okay. of 112 uh, explosive reactive armor bricks to the turret and hull front. I'll show you the turret front here. You can see the bricks there on the turret. As you can see, some of them go along the sides of the turret, and then there they are on the hull front. However, oh. as you can see, the driver's port is not covered by the bricks, nor is the lower glaciers. However, it adds also about 1.7 metric tons of weight to the AMX 30 B2, so a new 725 horsepower engine was also installed. That's actually quite a bit of information I threw out there at you. Um, there would be a total of 3,571 AMX 30s built, and the AMX 30 would also inspire some export variant vehicles. One would be the AMX 32. The other would be the AMX 40. Um, Identify. Also, PC. They hit a point. Target eliminated. Now, just as a disclaimer, I do not have this vehicle fully upgraded. In fact, I don't even have the grounds. I'm only using armor piercing ammunition. They almost hit us. And then obviously the 20 millimeter coaxial. The 20 millimeter coaxial is very effective against lightly armored vehicles like the BMP1 here. There's the BMP1 which it'll rip up. Um, no effect. And basically what you see me doing is switching back and forth between the coaxial 20 millimeter cannon and the main gun. Now that being said, the coaxial 20 millimeter cannon is actually very ineffective against heavy armor main battle tanks. Uh, now some of the main battle tanks you might penetrate the sides of the, the coaxial. You could also use the coaxial to track, um, and most main battle tanks do not withstand uh, the 20 millimeter cannon being shot in the rear. So obviously, shooting them in the ass with 20 millimeter cannon is uh, uh, doable, but honestly, if you're going after an MBT, use the heavily uh, use the 105 millimeter anti-tank gun that France is really known for their tank guns. Penetrated. <clears throat> that being said, what you have here in Armored Warfare is a. Um, Tier 4 main bow tank. Um, it's not well armored, but it does have some armor. Pretty much enough to protect it from uh, auto cannon fire, and that's really about it. Um, it's not extremely fast, but it's not necessarily the slowest tier 4 either. It's kind of a happy medium type of some engineering support, the train will get moving again. Just never expect to rely on its armor. Now we'll pull up the results here. I'll talk a bit more about the vehicle. That's the, the full French line has been introduced with patch uh, 0.28 for Armored Warfare. Um, so far, they've been pretty interesting vehicles. Uh, I find the, the coaxial 20 millimeter cannon, as I said, is very usable against uh, lightly armored vehicles. And, and it makes you be able to stay in a battle per se a little bit longer. Uh, one thing about the 20 millimeter cannon, it does have a quick reload. However, it's only, uh, it's only 60 round belts. Um, as I said, the penetration is not necessarily the greatest, um, nor does it have the damage output of some of the uh, AFVs in the game that have auto cannons. So anyway, what you have here is you have uh, 12,697 damage. I spotted four enemy vehicles and destroyed eight. Um, 
I got a blue star, uh, and I even actually got a target. I played actually this round very aggressively, uh, kept pressing forward and using the mobility of the AMX 30, uh, to keep it going. As you can see, I got the top damage overall and I was number four in spotting, but the amount of damage I did just really, really set it in for that blue star. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this replay. Let me know what you think about all the new French tanks. Uh, so far, I find them pretty interesting. They're not bad vehicles, uh, but they're not necessarily great vehicles. Uh, they're just kind of fun, but they really, for me, they're not going to replace any current main battle tanks I play on a regular basis. Uh, the, the, T, the Tier 5 is not going to be replaced by, per se, the Tier 5 um, Merkava. Even at this tier, I like the Magok uh, way too much to uh, want to swap out for this vehicle. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this replay. Uh, so you can see it's a new uh, replay off my new PC. It looks pretty, game looks really amazing now. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed the replay, and I will see you again next time.